welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss box model in css first of all what is mean by box model simply a box that wraps around html elements and this box consists of margin borders padding and the actual content simply remember the purpose of the box model is simply to place a border around the HTML elements and along with the border, it provides some space around the element. What are the most important parts of the box model? First one is margin. This margin property simply creates the space around the elements outside of the border. Outside of the border. Remember, the margin does not have any black color, any background color. It's a completely transparent. Border. Simply, the border is used to make a border around the content. So, each and every border has some background color is there. Padding. So, the purpose of padding is to, to create a space around the element inside the border. Remember, the margin is provide a space outside of the defined border. Padding is to provide the space inside of the border. Content is our actual content. So, to get the complete information, we already covered a video on margin, border and padding. Okay, if you combine all these three, then automatically it becomes a box model. Automatically, it becomes a box model. Now, first I will write down one example. So, take some style tag. And before example, before example, this is the structure. Observe, here we are writing our actual content. And this is my border between border and content some space is provided either top bottom right to left to this space is provided by using padding now between this this is border between this border and outline some space is provided by using margin clear this is box model why these models are used to arrange the content in a structured way now Go to style tag within this one, one div tag. First, I am creating one border. Suppose the border is some two pixel. Color is solid. Uh, style is solid. Assume color is some red. Right now, what happened? I will move step by step div. I will write down some message. Welcome to CSS. First, I created just one border. See, just one border is created. Now, inside the border, what are the other things I need? I need margin. So, I given margin as some 20 pixel. Now, what the margin specifies outside of the box? Refresh. Observe, observe here the shorthand notation margin that is margin on the top, bottom, left to right to. If you observe the space on the four sides, 20 pixel on the top, bottom, left to. Suppose just for your understanding, I changed into 50 pixel. Now observe, observe the space positions. This is margin. Now what I am, just for your understanding, I given some width, suppose width 500 pixel. Now observe. Okay, just what I am doing, I am reducing the size of border. I am reducing the size of the border. Now apply padding. Now apply padding. Suppose I am given padding is equal to some 50 pixel. Padding means inside the border. Refresh. Observe, padding means inside the border. Now you got an idea. This is a box model. Here my content is welcome to CSS. I applied the margin, applied borders and applied 
padding so along with you can have width and height is also available for each and every element you are providing width and height so what is the purpose of width and height based on the browser to check the correct properties now i am given some width suppose width some 300 pixel okay already width is given uh, width some 500 pixel already width is given along with i am given some height also some 100 pixel now see you can give width and height also and remember one more thing not only this not only this you can provide images whatever it is you can provide images also you can provide images also for that also you can provide the width suppose width is equal to 300 pixel height is equal to some 200 pixel height is equal to some 200 pixel right now refresh see image is formed followed by my content one image is formed followed by the content like this you can create a box model where our complete information is stored where our complete information is stored this is the concept of box model that's the end of today's session thank you